that makes everything okay. Tiny would have been good, but that was obviously banned by EG in the last phase here. I'm going to top it off with an... Gives him a little bit of lane safety. He can possibly just basically just stay alive if he gets in trouble. And that's maybe one way that Beastmaster is going to be weak. He's not going to be able to just chase him down. Misery starts channeling up the aluminum. They're stealing off the damage already. Crit gets a nice double stun, but it won't stop Miracle from getting the last one of damage in. And GH knows he's low. TP's all the way back to base. And he's definitely going to be vulnerable to line. Now line's just going to go for pulling. I think he's realized... This isn't going to work Ooh, out. Samael is diving. He's not in a bad one this time around. And you've also got GH available. Spirits up. He's trying to get in front of Samael, looking for the body block. Matumperman doesn't actually have the Gale anymore, so here's your stomp. Allows him just to change around the position and get back in front of Samael. Still ticking down with those poison sticks. It's going to be the one charges for the Spirit. Amplifying up, giving the kill to oh, Matumperman, Crit. who now follows up into the Gale. Crit just came to help, but all he does is feed. To be able to cure, kill an entire stack of spiders. Such a good matchup advantage. Good defensive observer ward now up from EG. They uh, saw the movement to the top lane, so there was no trap, but RTZ on bottom lane won't be so lucky. One last poor swing from Miracle. And RTZ goes relatively, and the Brood would prefer to pressure heavier. I mean, maybe he can change lanes, try to get some support kills by building up webs and things, but mm -hmm. These options are a little iffy right now. It'll have to happen soon, once he hits like level 8, level 9. And now he just left the lane. Arteezy would love to do the same, but not in this kind of style. Sent back to Fountain just because of Death Spirit. Stomp connects onto Misery and Team Liquid. The chaining is beginning. Misery under the tier 1 tower. You know they can keep diving. Kora gets the double kill. TP support. On the bright side, he does match up very well against Life Steal in the mid-game fights, but w with this kind of a net worth, net worth differential, I don't think it's even going to matter. He's just killing him while still being static linked. Are they really going to have a... Okay, Miracle's leaving. I mean, Beast is level 7 at least. They can certainly get a kill here if they find initiation. Hex, crit, going to get that double stun off. Uh, level 2 stun, sorry, off. E.T. Storm forced E.G. just to back off for half a second. TP support is on the way. Kura hiding him the trees. Samael comes in deep. The Axe is plus the Blast. We'll get the kill with Metalman. He committed both Nova and Gale. Samael knows he's not going to live through this and do as much damage as possible. Work with Misery so Misery can get the double kill. G.H. is low oh, on oh, life, oh. but there's your heal from Mind Control. Keeps G.H. alive and kills off Samael. And those little moments there. Moment. It's pretty safe though. Um, a lot of the, again, a lot of the supports on EG's side are very squishy, so even walking through Plague Wards is dangerous. Top lane, Bean Scripts on the Keeper of the Light. Misery won't be able to escape. Not once the stomp was able to connect as well. This supports do their work. Power that he left. <laughs> I remember what I said before. Crick could potentially deny this. Uh, Hex deny. Then, yep. Tower gets denied by fear at the same time. Mind control repelled up, starts running forward, just trying to chase down Crit with a roar. It's on to Kuro. So Samael, Fear, and Crit now have to work together against Mind Control with the ET stomp of the purification of Mind Control. Not bad. If you're behind, but I think EG is happy to trade. Yep. It's getting close to level three Necros. They get a little bit more fight in, in the lineup, middle lane. Oh, they have enough to bring down Omni. Continuous. Oh, they can get it. Money in for ET. Splitter as well. They can't run those spiders back. Broodmother just remains asleep. Crit was able to dodge it, but because he dodged it, he's on the wrong side of the river. A miracle can mop him up. He's basically stretching liquid a little bit th thin finally. Between Brood pressure in mid and looking for Orchid ganks, one hero pressure in top. Looks like Crit's gonna die though. Yep. Miracle catches him out underneath the Radiant Observer Ward. The ET spirits there, just in case EG brought support. Matumaman may be in a little bit of trouble on bottom lane. He has that Nova available. He's going to have to get it off if they're going to try and win this fight. Able to do so. Fear not affected by it, but Samael definitely. Fear's already found one kill. Moves over towards the Venomans and leaves the Brulings to do the work. GH with his stomp creates some space, but not enough. Fear is a double kill. Looking for the third. Going after the ET. He doesn't have a lot of life, let alone armor. A triple kill for Fear. My control will now arrive. He has the rate. Well, EG with the Observer Ward, they see Kuro, Mind Control, and now GH. So Fear understands this fight oh, is not worth taking, but he's underneath the Sentry Ward, outside of the webs and away from all forms of support. Kuro gets the perfect Fiend's grip. And they Playing this kind of style, you can't let them gain any ground, and you have to keep trying to take opportunities. They're going to try and kill bottom. The Observer Ward's still there. Beastmaster starts off with the roar, and Crit just got called in, and he'll provide the extra stun. 
to ensure the kill. Meanwhile, in mid team, so it's not as powerful, but with the catapults, Team Liquid, they've got to do this quickly. Roshan is about to fall, but the damage to their tier 3 tower is quite extensive. They're not burning fortification at all. And now EG will pull back the units. They get two thirds, if not three quarters worth of damage onto that bottom tower. And Samel may go for more. He's here for the roll. Oh. Able to get it off. There was no rage. The armlet is turned on the finger. Nice. They'll burn the Aegis of the Immortal. The creep team, Liquid. They probably just want to take these bottom towers. ET. Oh, no, 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 no. Crit misery here. So is fear. Instantly hexed. Instantly orchided. You do get a jump into the back lines onto Arteezy. The BKB comes out. They have a lot of damage. But then again, so does Samael when he had this model of books fighting for him. There was only one choice. It was Korra, the Fiend's Grip, to bring down Samael. He'll lose his life for a crit. The double stun. They protect him with the GA, but they're draining out the Mana Miracle. There's your roar up. He needs to kill off fear. It's a two for two trade off. But maybe a little bit too deep. Mind control. Mana leak. Up, Metupperman blinking back into the front lines. They want to keep working. Blood and life forcing him back. Mind control protected by the repel. Chris adding his TP. Won't be enough time. Mind control with the purification gives them the damage required. And they would love. Even more degen or grab by Omni Knight now. 46% so slow to any hero in melee range. And he's got S and Y, so this guy's super fast. Oh, they're going to get a kill bottom, though. Oh, okay, they got him. Yeah, they got the Aegis Immortal, but at what cost? You got the ET split up. They'll catch out, crit, some LSTP is just high enough away. He doesn't get affected oh, with the nightmare. That's a, that's a nice pickup. This is going to remove that global power that's and been coming gem. out from EG. So, so it's not the worst position for EG to be in, but Kuro grabbing that call kill is certainly going to put him on the back foot. And the tower's going to fall. The tower. Rage, swing and ding. And then back the hell up out of here. Arteezy can still potentially fight. He's already used the four star. Four heroes from EG. Come to the mid, Keeper of the Light, TPing out towards the Shrine, so we can recall and try and catch him off at the pass, but uh, not going to happen instead. Liquid back up. I mean, EG's in this turtle kind of position right now. It all kind of started with the, the Coddle and the Lion being killed. They just have the really strong map control, and it's going to take EG a bit to, to get control again, and it might just be without a Rax. Yeah, it may be. Miracle just beats it down. Fortification will try and slow things up. The Illuminate spam doesn't really even reach the creep wave. There's just Miracle standing in the front lines. The Sheba's gone from Matumaman, causing reactions from EG. But you got the Lotus Orb on Miracle too. Like he is protected as they take this Rax. EG has no answer. They had no desire to answer either. Antivi was still on the bottom lane. They were not going to be fighting this. Fight here. Night. There's your jump forward. They know observers and sentries are out. But they get rid of him. Oh they my god. EG wrap around. They try and get the kill onto Matumaman. Lotus no on the way. GA. They keep him alive. The Fiend's Group is on the Brood. Now they break free. Brood. Actually, can he? He's still stuck there. Now, Fear. Maybe you can attack, but a lot of you are still hungry. Oh, they can Mind Control. A huge kill to claim. Omni will go down, and so will the Venom Man. So, Life Deal is not that healthy either. Kuro tried to create a little bit of space, but Miracle needs to retreat. Cheese is available. But Arteezy, he got a full Without need of allies, it's the Lincolns. Oh, Cuddle's gonna get grabbed here for sure. Yep, tries to jump up. There's your Fiend Strip. Even the ET Splitter, if you wanna fight this, they'll lose heroes and they know it. So they just back up, they'll lose the Bad of a situation, it's time to hit a building. You Razor just bought the full Scotty. Arteezy's buying out to be part of this fight. No buybacks apart from the Beastmaster available for Evil Geniuses. There's your Hex over on the life stealer. And once again, Arteezy starts the fight, stealing a last chunk of damage. Only 87 this time, Matumaman. A decent ultimate. Actually, no. It only got crit. It needed to get more than that. Arteezy and Samael were untouched by the, by the poison. But Liquid still forcing the issue. Fortification not available for Evil Geniuses. And they're going to let the lane of ranks go. They know there's no fight to be had here. Team Liquid does... Well, doesn't go home, sticks around and watches the rest of the days of play. E.T. Stomp, perfectly onto Arteezy and Samal, no follow-up. Miracle just focusing on any objective-based gaming. They want that Tier 3 tower gone, and they get it. They're coming to try and contest Roshan if it's up, but it ain't. There's nothing there, but it is daytime. So they can fight, they jump in, the instant hex on mind control. If they can pop it right now, they've got a chance for Matumaman. Gets the jump in with the Aghanim's ultimate. E.G. They're closing Gunk, and with the Fiend's Grip, nowhere to go for Razor. He saw the damage, but even with the BKB blinding light, cannot protect him. Evil Geniuses, they're off the run, and they're going down. Four heroes lost for Evil Geniuses. Spells off his items, stay alive, and then E.G.'s hope for winning that fight was gone completely. Not the best place to find an enemy team, but man, Liquid has been very deliberate and safe at just getting farther and farther ahead in this game.
I don't know how they defend this at all, EG. As already, Matalman, Blink Daggers up, looking for the kill on the Misery. Misery is coded in every type of gun possible. Even the EG split up will catch some mail and not bring him down. This should be GG. And in fact, it is. Evil Jesus lose everyone at their base. It was a crushing game, too, in favor of EG, but Liquid holds strong.